Okay, we're going to look at the small signal analysis uh, for pole splitting. And what we are going to do for pole splitting here is we're putting a large capacitor around the second inverting gain stage of a two-stage op amp. In other words, we'd be placing our compensation capacitor around Q6 in the two-stage op amp drawn here. Okay, we've been modeling our op amps uh, just as GMs and, uh, and R outs. Uh, as shown uh, just below the schematic here. And so we're basically placing our capacitor in this position. Now we know uh, from prior experience that GM1 for this op amp is just equal to little GM1 or 2. RI for this op amp or, or the uh, resistance from the first stage is equal to RO2 in parallel with RO4. CI is all capacitance at node 1. Or I should say at node A, as we've labeled it. Of course, GM2 is equal to little gm6, r2 is equal to ro6 in parallel with ro7, and c2 is all capacitance at node b, or the output node, and this might include a load capacitance. So we haven't drawn a load capacitance in this circuit, but we need to know that it might be there. So to do analysis for this circuit, we're just going to do KCL at node A. And we can write a KCL at node B. All right. And if we put everything together, we can write a transfer function. Okay, so we have a second order transfer function. So we have two left half plane poles and one right half plane zero. And we can look at the frequencies of the poles and zeros in the next slide. So going from the transfer function, we note two poles, both left half plane, and one zero. And this one's a right half plane zero. And the pole frequencies are, after some analysis, 1 over GM2, R1, R2, CC, 
omega p2 is equal to gm2 cc over c1 c2 plus cc times c1 plus c2. And our zero frequency is gm2 divided by scc. Now our second pole frequency, uh, we uh, can make a few approximations. One, hopefully this term can be uh, neglected. And if that's the case, we can cancel the CC term. And we can neglect that C1, C2 term because it's gonna be small compared to the compensation. Okay, now one other observation is that C2 is probably gonna be dominated by a load capacitance. And it's probably going to be much bigger than any internal capacitance. And so we can make one approximation to omega P2. And that's to say that omega P2 is equal to minus GM2 divided by CL. Okay, in the next uh, set of slides, we're going to plot the transfer function for our open loop operational amplifier and make some observations about uh, the uh, size of the capacitance.